Hello. This is the beginning of a new service. It's very important service because the markets are about to change right now. They're really changing. Not only the stock market, but the bond market, the economy, and everything is lining up right now. There have been a lot of conflicts, a lot of cross signals. But right now, the entire market x-ray, everything we know about the economy, it's all lining up perfectly. That means a great opportunity for being very accurate, and a lot of people can make a lot of money if they follow along and understand what they're seeing. But unfortunately, it isn't going to go that way. Most people are going to end up losing money because everything is the opposite of what a lot of people are used to and what they're hoping for. What everybody wants to know on the inner circle when I see people, email listeners, is what stock should I be buying now? And the answer is none. They are all going lower. Does that mean today they're all going to start to crash? Does that mean there's not going to be any rally? There's not going to be an up market? The answer is there, is, there are going to be up markets. I don't want to use the term bear market because it's full of emotion. I want we want to be surgeons. This is a market with a bias to the downside. The first reason that's true is because the economy is slowing. It's slowing more than everybody thinks it is. It's slowing more than people think it's going to. And all the surprises are going to be to the downside. And as the world adjusts its expectations down, stock prices are going to be adjusted downward as well. They're not going to stop going down at resistance. You're going to, for technicians, you're going to see bounces off resistance, bounces, bounces, and then they're going to break down further because the prices are being adjusted downward. Those resistance lines that you've drawn are actually wrong. They're based upon the past. They're based on a static analysis. And if you understand that people are not only getting, uh, they're perceiving more risk, they're perceiving more uncertainty. That causes them to lower the amount of money they're willing to pay for a dollar of earnings. And they're going to start to see that earnings are going to be lower than what they expect. Price to earnings ratios, which are considered to be low right now, they're not low. They're going to turn out to be higher than people think because the profits are going to be lower than people think. It's going to take a while to work this out. 